welcome back to my channel um, so I am coming here today to do an Amazon um, try on haul so I ha disclaimer this is gonna be um, quicker than I intended to be or I intended it initially because I actually did the video already um, and I am a newbie at this so I did this whole video it was like an hour long I tried on a million things for you guys talked about everything um, and then figured out that I couldn't actually edit it. Um, and then I figured out a way to edit it, but I had to redo it in order to do it like that. So that being said, this is the second time I'm filming it. So, so it's going to be shorter. Um, and if I, and hopefully I cover everything again, because I thought it was pretty good the first time, but here we go. So anyway, um, I am going to, I did a, a huge Amazon fashion haul. Um, I already filmed the bag haul, um, the like a bag and accessories haul, um, and that went up today. This one will be up Wednesday, um, but I wanted to do some try-ons with you, kind of go over how I think the items fit and feel, um, and what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to return, um, if things are good for like presents, gifts, obviously it's the holiday season, things like that and um, go over some shoes that I also purchased that I didn't put in my accessories video um, that went up today. So everything is going to be linked in the um, description box. So all the Amazon, it's, it's pretty much all Amazon. I think there's only one or two other things kind of thrown in there, um, but everything will be linked for you guys. Um, and yeah, that's, that's, that's the whole deal. So I'm gonna start with what I'm wearing. Um, we're gonna do, a bunch of try-ons. I'll show you how I would wear things, things like that. Um, and we will go from there. Um, so first things first, I wanted to go over my hoops really quick. Um, every video I try to wear something that is, or I do wear something that is um, from Linked for Life, which is my jewelry company. Um, all of the links are linked in the bio. Um, excuse me, in my bio, um, or, you know, the, the, uh, the channel description or whatever it's called. Um, so it's to my link tree, which has both the Amazon storefront and also the link for life website. So these are our, oops, I've got fluffies everywhere. These are our, um, Esther hoops. They are like this square, um, hoop that has kind of like, can't really see on camera, I don't think. Yeah, it has like a little bit of a, like a braided sort of design. Um, so I'm wearing these. I wear these a lot. I think they're like really, really versatile. Um, and they're like a perfect size and they go with everything. So I am wearing these for this video. Um, yeah, and that's the Linked for Life stuff. So other than that, let's start with the haul. So first and foremost, um, I'm gonna go actually long close up. I'm gonna show you my bag, I went over this yesterday. This is, I got this actually in two colors um, from Amazon and I have this one and I have the other one is in like a sage green color. Um, both of them are amazing. I actually bought the green first and then came back for this one because it was that good. Um, it really has, it actually has pretty bad reviews. It has like a two star review on the Amazon website, um, but so I, I tried it anyway, just because I've been looking at this from Bottega, but didn't know if this was kind of like a trend. I mean, it looks like a trend, right? I don't know how long this is going to be something that, um, that we'll be wearing. I, I don't know. I've been watching it for about a year, I guess, uh, via Bottega, and I've gone to the store a bunch of times and looked at it, but it is, I don't know, it's maybe $4,000 or some, something like that. Um, and I just, I mean, this is actually an extremely good dupe. Um, obviously it doesn't say Bottega anywhere, so it's not a fake bag, but it does give you the look, um, without it obviously costing that much. So I want to say this is about $65. I think the green was 65 and maybe this was like 72 or something like that, but they're really comfortable. Um, it's this, obviously this woven, it's like a PU material. So it's obviously not real leather at that price point. But I mean, in the, um, in the light, it kind of comes off a little more shiny, but in real life, quite honestly, it's like a really good luggage brown color and it doesn't 
look cheap at all. It actually looks pretty expensive. Um, it, on the inside here, it holds everything that I need personally. It has one little zip pocket here. In the other video, um, the video that went up today, I actually went over what fits inside and I put stuff inside so that you guys could see, you know, uh, what it actually will hold. Um, it holds everything that I need personally and it's, it's actually a really pretty good size. Um, there are other options on Amazon that have like the shoulder strap. I like this one better personally and you know, it's just comfortable. You can kind of wear it on the crook of your arm or you can hold it, whatever you want to do, but I think it's a great bag. So that's that. That I'm actually, I'm definitely keeping. Like I said, I bought two colors in this. And this is the rest of the outfit. So, if you can see here, um, I don't know if it's far away or how it looks, but I'm trying to just get the whole look in here for you. So this is a jacket. Um, still has the tag on because I am not really sure if I'm keeping it or not. Not 100% certain. Um, but put that down. Um, so this is just a really long, as you can see, um, flannel shirt, but it does have the weight of a jacket. It is um, like a light jacket. So, you know, if you're somewhere that doesn't get that cold in winter, um, maybe like, I don't know, California or um, Arizona or like Vegas or something, you know, um, Nevada, something like that, you'd probably be good with this as like your winter jacket. If you are somewhere like in the Northeast or the Midwest where it gets freezing, this is definitely just kind of like a sweater option or it could be like a fall coat. Um, it's a good it's a good thickness. It'll definitely keep you warm in weather that's like, you know, I don't know, 60 degrees, 50 degrees, something like that, but it's definitely not. So it's, not, it's definitely not just a, a shirt. It's definitely a jacket. Um, the inside of it, you can't really tell. I was gonna show you guys. I thought it was gonna look scratchier than it does. Um, but it is a little bit scratchy. So like I have it on right now with this bodysuit, um, or actually it's like a jumpsuit, right? It's like a whole one piece. Um, and it's a little scratchy on my skin. Um, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not, quite honestly, but um, it wasn't exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping for a little more of a lightweight flannel shirt um, to wear kind of the way that I'm wearing this. Um, but it's definitely a little bit heavier than I anticipated. Also, um, yeah, no, I don't know. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, but um, I do think it is, it's, I love it. I think it's, it's really, um, it was the look I was looking for, just not the weight I was looking for. The Amazon description did say it was a shacket, but I feel like a lot of times they throw words in there that don't even go with what they're selling, just obviously to get, um, to have it, you know, to have it come up in the search results. But um, I tried it and yeah, so I don't know. But anyway, I do love it though. I do, I do think it's really cute. Um, it's kind of like a 50-50, we'll, we'll see if I keep it. Um, other than that, but I do think it's, it's good quality. Just, you know, if, if this is, you know, something that you're looking for and you're looking for a more heavyweight version of this like long flannel shirt, then this is for you for sure. They have some other colors too, but I liked this brown fall kind of color. Um, then under here, I have on a jumpsuit. So this is my second one that I purchased. Um, I have it in a dark brown as well. This is a gray, although it's not that gray. I don't know, it's kind of like a mix between a gray and a brown. Um, and it kind of, on, I don't know about on camera, but in real life it has sort of like a purpley undertone. Um, I, I do like it. I think that it doesn't match this amazing on camera, but in real life it matches better than it is showing right now, um, but it is just like this one piece. It's a ribbed, let's see if I can get a little closer so you can see it. Sort of like a, yeah, you can see it a little bit. It's like a ribbed, um, ribbed one piece. It is very silky and smooth. The brown one that I have is a little thicker. It's the same, um, same company, same uh, designer or whatever, it's same, same clothing brand, um, but it's a little bit thicker. I don't know if it maybe is something to do with like the dye that made it a different consistency or there's, they redid the 
style and made it with a different thicker material or I don't know what it is, but this one is much more comfortable. However, the brown one that I have um, definitely holds me in better. So whatever, I mean, I don't know if, I don't know, I don't know. I think I could have gone down one size. I'm in a large in this one. I probably could have gone to a medium and been okay. Um, and the brown one is also a large, but that definitely fits me true to size. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, I don't know, I'm gonna take off my shoes so you can see it. I did order these. I think that they, I don't know, they're really cute. I do like the fuzzy, um, they are Uggs, they came from Amazon. Um, this is actually part of their, uh, I think it's, it's called Try Before You Buy. Um, so it is part of that. They um, offer this, um, basically this service, I don't know, this this uh, this thing where they send you off your stuff, they, um, they charge your card, but it's only um, like held, right? So it's, it's pending and you have seven days to try it on, decide what you want, and then they'll charge you after the seven days, you can decide that you want to return things and it falls off of your um, pending on your card. So I took advantage of that for a few things, this being one of them. Just because I wasn't a hundred percent sure um, if I liked the platform, I do. Um, I did have a pair of Birkenstocks last year that had this like nubby material, um, that like this like teddy bear material. This one they have in a white and they have it in this brown. In the picture, it did not look like hot pink. This is like fluorescent pink. And while I love fluorescent pink, I don't love it for winter. It is a summer color to me. Um, I don't love it. I don't know. It just doesn't go. If this had been red, I'd probably have kept it. They're comfortable. They're cozy. But this pink just, it throws me off and I do not love it. Um, so they're going back 100% for sure. But just wanted you guys to see it anyway because obviously, you know, they're here and the intentions were to wear it with something like this. I love the idea, but in actuality, it's not good. The, um... The white ones, however, do have red, I believe. So I don't know. I might try those just because, like I said, I do I do like the shoe itself. I think they're super cute. But the pink just, I think, ruins the whole wintertime look for me. Um, but if, you know, if you love uh, neon pink and you have no problem wearing it in winter, any time of year, then it's super cute. I just, the color just destroyed it for me. So that's that. Um, and that is it for the first outfit. So I am gonna try on the second for you guys. Be right back. Oh, maybe I'm not gonna be right back. All right, I figured it out. Um, so my little remote wasn't, wasn't working correctly to turn off the camera so I'm trying to like piece this all together so I think I said I'm a newbie so bear with me if this doesn't look the most professional yet um, but I am in the second outfit now um, I really really like this one it's super comfortable so let me just give you a full shot so you guys can see that um, I am wearing just from head to toe I have on my Laura Piana um, little slides I am wearing um, these Amazon, um, like I said, everything's Amazon unless I say differently. These are like a super smooth, um, almost like a yoga pant, but like material and everything, um, like very, a little silkier than a, than a typical yoga pant. Smooth um, and wide leg and they have like little pockets here, which is my favorite part of it. and. Um, extremely extremely comfortable honestly like so comfortable I want them in every color wearing just this is just my normal airy tank top that I wear with absolutely everything I have it on in black just because it's gonna match the majority of the outfits that I'm gonna be trying on for you and then this was another buy before you or try before you buy um, that's why it still has the tags on because I have to decide um, it is a Tommy Hilfiger little blazer um, pants were, I want to say, $29, something like that. Um, Tommy Hilfiger blazer is $42. Um, but together, it's like, it, it, they look, I don't know, in my opinion, it looks, it, it looks expensive. It looks really, really just like 
You can wear this out to dinner, you can wear this to the office, but like you're kind of wearing sweats. Like this, this um, jacket is a sweat pant material, which is, I mean, this is, this is just the stuff that I like to wear. I like to always be comfortable um, because I just hate being uncomfortable in clothes. I hate being in like, just like constricting clothes, clothes with no stretch, clothes that aren't soft. Um, so yeah, I, I absolutely hate that. So this is just like, I have just like fuzzies everywhere. Don't mind me. Um, but yeah, this is extremely comfortable and I think that it just looks put together. So you can look put together. You can pair them with your expensive things. Like I said, like the Laura Piana, um, little like, these are like the mule loafers, um, the summer walks mules. Um, and, but it looks like the whole outfit is expensive. I mean, you wouldn't know that I spent under a hundred on the rest of this outfit, in my opinion, you know, you wouldn't know that I, that, okay guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. My phone actually decided that it was, um, full, the memory was full. So hopefully that won't happen again because Oh, this has just been like the longest video of my life. So anyway, like I was saying, you wouldn't know that this was under $100. You wouldn't know that this was um, such an inexpensive outfit. In my opinion, it looks pretty expensive. I think you guys are, let me just adjust you, sorry. I don't know, maybe that's better, maybe it's not. Um, anyway. All of that being said, um, and let me get to the bag. So this bag, um, I talked about this also yesterday um, on that store, um, excuse me, on that video. Um, it is another, obviously, Amazon find. It is this little like Bottega style with the knot. Um, it's sort of like a, like a fake suede underneath. You can see that. And it has the crystals all over it. Um, shines, shines pretty nicely. Um, in this video, I don't feel like it's shining amazing, but it does shine, um, it shines nicely in person. So I just paired it with this outfit. Um, it holds everything that I need it to. It also has the tag on it just because, like I said, I was deciding. I also bought this in the black version. Um, so it's black with black crystals, which is actually my favorite, but I do like this for like navy blue. I think it looks perfect. Um, and obviously like for summer outfits. And I don't know if you can see the inside, it is, the inside is kind of like this, uh, so it's like a white fake leather. So it's not suede on the inside, which I do like better because suede can get kind of gross, especially if you have like lipstick and all that stuff in there or makeup or anything like that. So yeah, that's the bag. And this is the look again. Yeah, and so that is, that is this one. Um, I'm gonna go put on the third look for you guys. Be right back. Okay guys, so this is the next look. Um, I don't know if I, I this video, I messed it up by taking out my phone, like the way that it was positioned um, when I took it out because it said there was no more space left. So hopefully this is still a decent angle. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, um, this is actually a mix of items now or different places that I got this from. So these pants are these like, they're like, um, I mean, they're like leggings. They're like uh, like a yoga pant. They have this seam in the middle, which I like a lot, and they're split in the front. So this is kind of um, a little detail that I've been seeing a lot for like the past year or so. And this, um, initially they were from an expensive brand. These are obviously much more affordable. So I have them in brown and I also got them in black, which I have, I will try on with another outfit. I just kept on my same black tank top because like I said, this is the second time and actually the third time now because of the this uh, camera running out of um, storage. But, um, so I am just, I can't, I can't anymore. So I'm gonna keep the black on for the rest of the outfits. Um, normally, honestly, if I wore this, I'd probably wear it with a white tank top. Um, I think that would probably look a little bit better and keep with like the neutrals. But this jacket, 
is like a really nice, um, it's like a butte clay, I guess, sort of. Yeah, I guess it kind of is. I don't know. I didn't look at the um, the tag to see what it actually is, but it definitely looks like a little bit of a, like a nubby material. Sort of. Huh? No, it's not really like a sheep kind of. Um, I don't know. It, yeah, but it's it's sort of like a butte clay. Um, and this is from Express. So Express, it's, it's a, definitely a shacket. It's more comfortable, in my opinion, on the inside. It's not as scratchy as the flannel, um, but it is definitely a heavier weight, like a, um, it's definitely a shacket and not just a, like a button up. Um, but I love it. It has the little gold buttons that have like the little crest on it, which makes it a little bit fancier, which is super cute. And I just paired it again with my favorite Amazon bag. Um, and then I put on Birkenstocks with it, um, little fuzzy Birkenstocks. And that is this outfit. So yeah, um, Birkenstocks, I'm not sure if Amazon has it, but if they do, I will link them below. And obviously I will link everything else. I'll also link this to the Express website. This comes in a brown, um, sort of the same color actually as the shoes. Um, it comes in a brown and it comes in obviously this white color. Um, and I just think it's like super, super cute. Again, it can be, depending on where you live, either a good winter jacket for you. Um, it's definitely heavy enough for like a fall jacket, but I just think it's super cute and it just makes the outfit look nice and cozy. All right, let's go to the next outfit. All right, guys, so this is the next outfit. Um, I didn't pair this one with a bag just because I don't want to keep on doing the same bags over and over again. Um, but this is the same pants. Let me back up for you guys. So this is, these are the same pants that I just had on in brown, but in the black color with the same slit in the front. Um, I had bought a pair, I want to say, I don't know if they were from Express or maybe Airy or something like that. Um, maybe last year at some point with the same slit in the front, but the length was not good for me. They were really, really long. Um, and these, I think, are honestly the perfect length because you can wear them with flats. You don't have to wear them with heels. And they just, they're the perfect length for me. I'm 5'5", five five, um, but I am curvy, so you can probably be a little bit taller than me and wear them and have them hit the same length. So yeah, those I like a lot. Um, so anyway, so I have these on in the black. I have it the same tank top. Like I said, I'm not changing it. And then this is another Amazon find, this sweater. It is, it comes in a lot of different colors. Um, this one is obviously this camel and black color, which I really, really love. Actually, I am gonna pair it with the bag. This might be a little too much stripes happening and eh, doesn't match perfectly but anyway you get the idea i'm going to talk about this in a second um so this yeah this sweater is it's really boxy um i think if i want to say this is a size large um it is baggy though so i think it does it runs big probably because i still have like it actually buttons well usually i have that gapping when I have anything that buttons in the front, but with this, I don't have that. So um, it definitely runs either a little bit larger or perfectly on size. Um, I think it's supposed to be a little bit oversized, but obviously depending on how you wanna wear it, you can get it smaller or whatever. Um, it comes in a bunch of different colors. I saw it, I know it comes in a black and white. I wanna say also maybe a green and white or a red and white, something like that. And then they have like the solid colors also. The material is extremely soft. Um, it is like a, just a cotton sweater material. It is, you know, just um, the buttons have, whoops, have, let's see if I can get it to show you. Yep, it's just like a little crest on it. Um, so it does, it elevates the look a little bit with the gold crested buttons. And yeah, I mean, I like it a lot. It's extremely comfortable, I think that um, obviously for me, comfort is everything. So it definitely elevates, I think, any look that you are, you know, if, if you're adding this, it, it, it will elevate any look, but it will actually be extremely comfortable as well. So I think that's perfect. Um, I do think it's a little bit boxy, so you just have to like that look, um, which 
I do sometimes. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this one at first, but every, you know, I've tried it on now like three times for this video and I like it a lot. Um, so I think I will be keeping it. Um, and yeah, so I just, I always like this. I didn't, I wanted to go, I was thinking about the black and white, but I always, I like tan and black better. It sort of reminds me of um, Bendel's, if anybody remembers that uh, department store in New York. Um, they, their whole thing was brown and black stripes. And I just always think of brown and black as being like extremely, um, I don't know, just really, really beautiful and classy and classic and whatever. So I do love brown and brown and black together. And I paired it with, this is this, you know, it looks, mm, yeah, it's not exactly, on, on camera it looks more different in color than it does in real life. It actually matches a little bit better without these bright lights um, of the ring light. But it is this clutch, and I talked about it yesterday on my video. It's just this big, it doesn't have any pockets on the inside. It's just this big, um, it's a framed clutch. It is a knit material so it's extremely light it holds like for me it holds everything that i carry around on a daily basis it is really really adorable um yeah it's not perfect for this i was hoping that it would be like i said it's not as bad in person as it is showing on the camera but i just think it's so cute and yeah for a different outfit but i love this bag it's really really cute it also comes in a black and white um and it comes in a pink and green as well which is which is also cute um but yeah those are the options and this is the outfit so i have it paired with my jw anderson um little rhinestone they're like this like whoops it's like birkenstock clog looking thing and i'm not sure if i would actually wear this together but i was looking for something quick to put on for you guys so i had some shoes on um but i'm not sure i if I actually like the way that they look with this outfit, although I love the shoes. But yeah, this is the, I don't know even what this is, fifth outfit, I don't, I don't know anymore. But anyway, this is the, uh, this is this outfit and let's go to the next one. Oh, this remote. All right, guys. So this is the next outfit. This is, let me just, Keep something in the shot there so this is the next outfit this is um again the same black pants let me show you the whole thing so this is the same black, black pants with the slit i paired them this time with my prada um little loafers with a little bit of a heel and then i oops, and then this is this amazon um blazer in silver it's silver um, sequins and I paired it with the same like Bottega dupe with um, the knot rhinestone black on black little bag so I was thinking this is a perfect holiday outfit so I wanted to do at least one like fancier um, shinier holiday outfit so this is super cute it is um, the blazer itself is this really nice lightweight materials so you know wherever you go you're not going to be sweating because it is really actually very very lightweight which i think is great um it is in like i said this silver sequin it's all over sequin so you can see that it shines like crazy and i think it is perfect it's a little bit oversized i think it's perfect either open or closed however you want to wear it i want to say this is a large um so i do think it also runs big i think you could uh definitely probably go down one size if you want it a little bit fitted um i like it a little bit more baggy and like comfortable it doesn't stretch so you want to definitely make sure that whatever size you get is you know what the size that you think is going to work without having any stretch to it and then this bag is just like that other um with the the other one with the white rhinestones it is also suede but you can't really tell that it's suede with the black um and with the rhinestones being or the crystals being black i think it just it looks really i really like it i think it, it looks I, this is my favorite versus that one if i had to pick one 
just because I don't see, you don't see many kind of black crystal bags or rhinestone bags that are tonal, right? That are black on black. So I think that is, it makes it look just a little bit more classy in my opinion. Um, and it doesn't kind of compete with the shine of the blazer. So I actually think it's perfect together. It's like, how much shine do you need between the shoes, the blazer, the bag? You know, I think it all works together um, just like this. So yeah, that is a perfect um, New Year's Eve outfit in my opinion, or uh, Christmas Eve or Christmas or whatever it is, whatever day you're going out and getting dressed up, this would be, I think, a perfect, comfortable um, look for that occasion. All right, guys, let's go to the next look. We are getting through this, aren't we? Except for this remote just doesn't want to work for me. All right, so I didn't have to go far to change this one out. I just threw on a different jacket. So this is also part of, as well as the sequin, actually. So you can see the whole look. Same pants, same shirt, different um, jacket, same, same shoes. So this is... Um, this jacket, as well as the sequin jacket, were also part of this um, buy, try before you buy situation that um, Amazon has. It doesn't offer it with all items. I don't know if I said that before, but some of the items give you that option, and that way you can pay zero dollars down. You get it for seven days. Um, you try it on. You decide if you like it, if you want to keep it, and then you send it back if you if you know you're not a fan. So this came with it. I personally am not, I'm not keeping this one. I will tell you that. I do think it's really cute. It is Carl Lagerfeld, um, kind of like this Chanel-esque, um, obviously, little jacket. It is, I think it's, I think this is called a flyaway. I'm not 100% sure, but it does not button. I guess, you know, if, if you really need it to button, you can always go in and have a seamstress um, attach a little snap or a button for you, or like a little hook and eye closure. You know at your waistline if you wanted to kind of bring it a little, little bit um i do like a fly away i don't um usually button up my stuff so i do like it open this let's see does this have a size on it um i got this in an extra large because it does not stretch at all so be aware of that if you have bigger arms or anything like that you want to make sure that you are choosing a size that is going to fit you um but yeah, it's this beautiful blush pink. I like it in, you know, the idea of it, I like better than the actual jacket on me. Um, but I do think for somebody else, it would look adorable. So it has this beautiful um, silver chain detailing there. And yeah, it's like a little bit cropped. Um, obviously, the sleeves are a little bit cropped. Um, the jacket itself is a little bit cropped. I just, I don't know. It's just, I don't love it for me. I don't go into an office anymore or anything like that. So it's not something that I would get enough use out of. But I do think if you go into an office um, or if you just like to dress up on a daily basis and you wear jackets um, or, you know, I don't know, maybe even for, for a holiday party or something like this, this would be beautiful. It is a really nice price point. I want to say it is maybe it's 60 or $70. So it's nice for a jacket. Um, it's not a bad price point, but yeah, but yeah, but it's, it's definitely going back, um, for me, but I think it would be a nice present for, I don't know, your mother, mother-in-law, um, sister-in-law, sister, something like that. I think it would be a, a really nice present for somebody, um, or for yourself, but yeah, for me, it's a no. It does have these little, just so you can see. It does have these little, um, what is that called? Whatever that is, the little pleating there so that, you know, for your chest and everything like that. But yeah, I mean, it's made very well. Honestly, it's it's made nicely. Um, it feels good on, it is comfortable, but not my favorite. So yep, yeah, next outfit, guys. This remote is gonna give me hell. All right, guys, so this is the next outfit. This is probably my favorite um, purchase from the buy, uh, Try Before You Buy um, little program. This comes in a bunch of different colors. This is this like khaki or army green. It has three buttons on the side. Obviously, it's a turtleneck and it's a little bit cropped and it has the little finger holes. So 
This is the whole outfit. I mean, this is just repeats at this point, but I'm still wearing it with these pants and I'm still wearing it with these JW um, little like Birkenstock loafer type things. And yeah, this is, I love this one. This is like my favorite of all the things in my, um, in my haul this time around. This is so soft. Um, it is a really nice weight. It is, so this one I wanna say was like maybe 40 bucks, 35 bucks along those lines. Um, they have like four or five different colors. I know that they have a maroon, they had a camel color. I wanna say they had a black, probably a white. Um, and I don't remember if there was more, but there was a bunch of different colors. Some of them were like 13 or 14 bucks. This one was probably the most expensive one, but this is my favorite color. And I think that they're all worth it. I mean, whether it's 40 bucks or 13, 13 bucks is like an absolute steal, obviously. But even if they are 14 bucks, uh, I mean, 40 bucks, like totally, totally worth it. Um, this is like, would be a perfect gift for anybody, any woman um, or guy, whatever, on your list. Um, this would be absolutely perfect for like anybody. This is one of those sweaters that, you know, you get for Christmas and it's like, you know how sometimes like you get presents for Christmas that you would never buy yourself or never find yourself and like you think it's like your favorite thing ever and it's rare when it happens but this would probably be somebody's like absolute favorite Christmas present that they open. Um, it would be mine for sure and it would be something that I would wear all the time. I think it is so freaking cute um, and so comfortable. So yeah, this is like, this is a definite keep and I'm definitely going back for as many other colors as they have. So, yeah, that's that. And I think it would look great with jeans. Um, I'm not a jean person, but I did find some good jeans on Amazon also. So I'm going to actually put those on now, and I'll show you how it looks with this, with this sweater. So be right back. Like I said, I mean, this might look freaking crazy when I post it all because my little remote here that is supposed to turn on and off my camera without being obvious um, and looking nice and smooth is not going very smooth today. So let's let's see. So it's like I'm, I'm looking crazy at the end, like pressing things, you know why. It's because this equipment is not working as it should be. Um, but anyway, let me go grab the, the jeans and put those on for you guys. Be right back. I swear. Okay, so. I'm back. This, these are the jeans. I have a real hate, hate relationship with jeans. Um, I can barely ever find jeans that work for me. Um, and these, however, I actually really, really like these a lot. Like I'm going to be buying them in every color that they offer them in. So these are probably my, one of my favorite Amazon finds of this haul, just like the sweater. I think that they pair perfect together. So this is, again, the same turtleneck sweater. These jeans look so cute with it, I think. They have the rips. They come in a bunch of different colors. Hold on, let's let Steven in. Come on, buddy boy. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, Stevie. I don't know. Yes, he's coming in. All right, Steve-o. Hey, baby boy. All right. Steven doesn't like to be locked out. He doesn't like closed doors at all. Um, so we'll let him stay. So, yeah. So this is the outfit. I actually am. I really, really like. I really like these jeans. I'm surprised that I like them as much as I do. I actually purchased them sort of on a whim, thinking like, you know, I'll be lucky if they look decent. But I am very happy with them. So that is great. And let's try on the black ones. They have a bunch of um, bunch of them, like I was saying, a bunch of different options. Um, when I link them, you'll see. These I wanna say are the L2s. That's what they're called. The black jeans are also the L2. I guess that's the shape or whatever. And then there's other ones that are more of a boot cup. These are more of like a wide leg or like a straight leg. Um, so there's a lot of different options, but the L2s are really great. There's a lot of stretch in them. So they're extremely, extremely comfortable, which to me is, you know, obviously the most important thing. Um, when you are dressing, like I've said a million times, um, but also with jeans, because that's the thing that typically, um, I don't find jeans comfortable at all, but these are extremely comfortable. So, all right, 
we'll try on black. Be right back. All right, back again, guys. So I have on two new um, pieces this time. I have on the black jeans. So these are black jeans. They're also L2, like I said. However, they aren't as stretchy. So they aren't as comfortable. They're still comfortable, in my opinion. And honestly, like, probably five pounds away from being really comfortable. But they are a little bit um, kind of... Uh, they don't have as much room in the waist. They don't stretch as much in the waist and not just in general. Maybe it's just the wash of the black that is a little more, I think sometimes when things are different colors, they feel a little bit different. Um, so that could be the case. Um, however, I do like them. Um, I'm wearing them with the same JW Anderson um, shoes just because, as I said, this is like the middle of the time filming at this point, so I think I'm just done trying. I'm gonna show you guys the shoes afterwards. I'm just not gonna put them on with the outfits anymore. This is what you get. Um, and then this is another one of my absolutely favorite Amazon finds. Um, I got it in three colors and I will show you. This is um, obviously the camel color. It is like this little bomber jacket. When I purchased it online, I actually thought that it was not going to be. This is like sort of like a Definitely like a cotton canvas sort of material, um, sort of like Dickies or something like that. That's what it feels like. Um, I initially thought it was going to be more of like a tweedy material, something kind of a little more, um, a little heavier for like colder weather. Okay, so I let Steven out and he's at the door again, crying. Oh, well, come on, Steve. Come on back in, buddy. Come on, my baby. Come on, my baby. You want to say hi to everybody? You want to say hi? Come on, buddy. All right. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. All right. So Steve likes to be in the mix, but he doesn't know what he wants to do, so he's in and out. But, um, so yeah, so this is, this is this outfit, and I actually, I'm going to go out again. You're not making my video any easier. So, yeah, this is the outfit. Um, this is the jacket. I think that in the camel color, um, I, like I said, I got three colors. I'm gonna show you the other two colors, but I honestly, I love all of them. I think they're all amazing. This is like a must have, absolutely. I wanna say it's 40 something dollars, totally worth it. Um, I think that for me, at least, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. And yeah, so, so cute. Um, everything, nothing, I didn't iron anything or steam anything since getting it. Um, so everything, you know, I don't know if you know how Amazon packs their clothes, they're all like shrink wrapped and like, kind of like, just, they come out usually extremely wrinkled. Um, so all of these things are pretty wrinkled. It's not how I would wear them. They will be going, whatever I'm keeping is gonna go get steamed. But I, I do think I'm keeping all three of these. They're like really, really perfect. So yeah, that's that. Let me try on some other colors for you. All right, be right back. All right, guys, back again. This is the jacket again. This is the white version. Um, it's sort of like an off-white-ish. It's not like a true white. It's not. It's it's definitely an off-white. But same as the camel. Um, this is the my least favorite of the three colors that I got. But I don't know. Now that I'm I'm seeing it, I actually think that it's it's also like a really great one to have. Um, yeah. I think so. I think it'll match a lot. It'll be good in the any season, really. It's it's definitely like a winter white, so it's not like a true white. It's not like a um, like a crisp white. It is definitely more of like an off white color. I don't know if it's showing up like that, but yeah, this is a good one also. So let's put on the third for you guys. All right, guys. So this is the third color i changed the pants obviously um this color is my favorite color it is like a there is one actually that is like an army green so this isn't the army green this is like i forget what they call it maybe like a sea moss green or something like that it's like just a shade lighter than your typical army green kind of like a khaki green um this is definitely my favorite color that the three come in um, they do come in other colors. Also, I want to say they come in that army green color, which is, like I said, a little bit darker than this one. And they come in a black for sure. 
and I think maybe like a brown, like a little bit darker than that camel color, possibly, something like that. But there's a bunch of colors. Um, I like them in every single color, but I think three is enough. So yeah, this is that one, this one. Um, I ordered a pair of like fatigues on um, Amazon, but they came in there like just extremely stiff. I actually returned them already because I was like, I can't even show you guys them. Um, super cute in terms of like the, um, the pattern. They were not as gray as these. They were more like a green and like a typical army green, like a classic brown and army green and black maybe. I don't know, they were really, really good. Um, but they were like a really hard, uncomfortable material. They didn't stretch very much. They ran really small. So I went and got these from Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, however, and I just, this is a visible this outfit. I have done away with the shoes at this point, but this is the entire thing. Um, I would probably wear these with, I don't know, maybe these. So I just got these on this try before you buy also. These are these New Balance in this like, I think they're like a cloud. I don't know what they're called. They're like the white version though, like extremely light gray. They're kind of blowing out on the um, screen but extremely light, extremely light gray and like this off white. Um, so I probably would wear it with something like these. Um, yeah, but love these, these I'm keeping for sure. Um, and which is, I, I love that they have shoes on there because shoes I think are like the most difficult because we never know how they run. Obviously, I mean, if you wear New Balance all the time, you know how those run. I know what size I take in New Balance personally. Um, but, you know, Uggs, I wear a size down. Um, and then sometimes when they have these like off-brand shoes on Amazon that are like from like um, like Chinese sellers or whatever it is, they can run small. You don't know like what size to get if they... Oh, Steven, Stevie, he just doesn't know what to do with himself. Go ahead, buddy. The thing is, is that we're usually in bed at this point because like I said, I've been trying to film this thing for hours. So we're typically in bed at this point and we're cuddled and he is not happy about not being cuddled right now. So anyway, that's what he's up to. Um, but what I was saying was, um, I like how they have the, the shoes in the try before you buy because that's one thing that I'm always like, you know, when they come in European sizes or they come in American sizes, you don't know if you're 30, you know, a 36 or a 37 or a 38 or you're an eight or a nine or whatever, like they're all different sizes. So I do like that. So these are perfect. I knew what size I took, but I did do the tribe before we could buy anyway, just because I wanted to make sure that they were like a real white versus like their typical um, like gray and off-white color. But these are a really good, a really good combination. I like them a lot. So that's it. So these pants, like I said, I went and got from Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, however, when I was trying them on, I realized that, you can see under there, they didn't take out the security tag. So now they have to go back tomorrow to get that taken off, which is annoying, but it is what it is because I really like them. They have um, this little like painter's thing here, the, the true cargo pant, they have two little pockets here, one pocket here, the little loop here. Um, they have a nice amount of stretch so that they're really comfortable. Um, and yeah, I like them a lot and I think they look perfect with this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's that. Let's try on, let me tell you what I have for you guys. I have like one more jacket and I have a trench coat. So I'm going to show those to you and one more pair of shoes and then we are done with this video. Um, so yeah, hold on. Let's see if my little remote thing works. No point in even hiding it from you guys anymore. This is like crazy frustrating. Okay, so this is the second to last outfit, I believe. Um, and it's just, I actually found another pair of pants that I didn't try on for you. These are the same as those navy pants. They are the um, kind of silky um, yoga pant material. So these are those. I think they are, they're like so comfortable. Like I said, I wanna get them in like every color. Um, and I paired it with this little cropped trench, which I really, really like. Um, I saw it on Amazon. I was like, how would I wear this? I have no idea. But I think that really you can kind of wear it with anything. So it is this beautiful, um, obviously khaki color. It 
is it has like all of the trench detailing. So it has, you know, this, this all can be adjusted. It has this around the sleeves. It has these little things on the top, um, little belt things on the top. And yeah, it's just cropped. It comes with the belt. Um, so obviously it can be closed and used like, you know, that, but I would definitely leave it open. Um, I don't think, for me at least, I don't think it looks good closed. And yeah, it's super, super cute. I actually really, really like this. Um, this also came in a bunch of different colors. Price point was also really great. I wanna say it's somewhere in the 30s or 40s. Um, again, it will be linked below, um, but I actually, I knew pretty much all of my um, pricing before this whole thing kind of went awry and we had to do it so many times. Um, but yeah, so tags are still on, but I probably will be taking the tags off of this one. This was not a try before you buy, um, but it is, you know, it, honestly, does that, it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, Amazon, I just like the fact that you don't have to really come out of pocket until you're sure, which is obviously a great, like, like a great marketing thing for them. Um, and it makes it so much more comfortable um, to just order a whole bunch of stuff. I think you can order up to six, I believe, in an order with the Try Before You Buy. So it's really nice to be able to do that and not have your money tied up and then just decide later on, um, you know, within the seven days, what you actually wanna keep. So like if you wanted to order, I think it's a great option if you don't know sizing, like I was saying with the shoes, you can order two sizes and decide which one you wanna go with. If you're between sizes or whatever, you can, you know, I'm an eight and a half or a nine. So it's like I choose between the eight and a half or a nine, I can get both sent to me and then decide between the two. And you didn't have to come out of pocket initially for it. So I think that is great. Um, same thing with anything, but the thing that we all, I think, love about Amazon is how easy it is to return things. So, you know, whether or not it is the try before you buy, you can always buy a whole bunch of stuff and return it, um, you know, right away, drop it off at UPS or Kohl's or whatever your preferred uh, return method is and you get your um, refund immediately. So I think it's the convenience, obviously, with Amazon that we love, but the fact that they have great stuff um, makes it even better, right? So anyway, this is this trench. Like I said, I love it. Um, great price point. And I think just really cool, like you're not gonna see this coming and going, you know, like everybody just definitely does not have a crop trench. So it's super fucking cute. Um, also, and again, I'm done, I'm done trying on shoes, but I might wear it with something like these. So these are actually from Nordstrom's because um, I believe Amazon did not have this color in stock. These are like those super minis and they are in the burnt umber. Um, super comfortable. Like I said, I'm an eight and a half or a nine, but I always go with eights and Uggs um, and I don't wear socks with them. And just because I think that they're so comfortable um, with those socks and the socks kind of ruin the whole thing for me. So yeah, these are super cute. I would probably pair this outfit with these. And yeah, but I don't have the energy to try to get into those because even though the eight fits once I get my foot in, getting my foot into the super minis is like extremely, extremely difficult. It takes a second and it takes a little while before the, um, shoe itself has kind of given a little bit so that I can get it in a little bit easier. Um, but anyway, that's that. So that's the whole look and we have one more. So hold on, let's see if this will pause for me. Okay, so this is the very last item I wanna show you guys. Let me move this out of the way. This to me is like the cherry on top. This is the probably the, the best in my opinion i don't know i mean honestly it was a bunch of great stuff but this piece i really love it needs to definitely be steamed because these these things are doing crazy things they're like crazy but um but it has to be like once it's pressed down i think they will lay better and they'll look great um it is like this super traditional this is also by a uh, try before you buy which I liked because I wasn't sure um, if I was going to like the idea of like, I, I have actually, I have trenches, so that's not true. Um, but I have my, 
I have a few trenches. The only trench that I really love that I have though um, is an H&M one that I bought like a million years ago. God, probably like 15 years ago. It was so cute. It was like a Madonna collection. I don't know if you guys remember. It was like, I think it was a collection that H&M had with Madonna and it was like this beautiful coat. They only had a size six. I wasn't even a size six. I was probably a size eight at that point. Um, and, or maybe even a 10, I don't know, but I squeezed myself into a six because I loved it so much. Um, and it was like super, super thick and it, the belt was like a heart. Oh, it was so cute. Um, I still have it because I refuse to let it go. I don't care. It's like my, my goal jacket. Um, I have a lot of gold clothes, but that is like my one thing that I would love to get back into. But in the meantime, I figured I might as well get myself a new trench. Um, that one was like a traditional, um, you know, camel color. This one obviously is the gray. So it is a light, like a light dove gray. It is not a pair, it's, it's lighter. It's not as yellow um, in person as it is showing on the camera. Um, but it is this beautiful, I don't know what these are called. So it has these little flap things, like a traditional, um, like English kind of trench coat. Um, and it obviously has the, you know, the little belts on the wrists. So it does have a lot of like traditional, um, pieces to it. Obviously these things, um, it doesn't have a belt. It has a tie, which I like better because you don't have to worry about, you know, fitting it exactly. Um, to me, it's just easier. You don't even need to like button it up. You could just kind of tie it like a robe and be done with it like that. Um, obviously it'll look much nicer when it is all pressed. I do like the idea. Um, initially I didn't like the idea of the gray, but it was the only one that was prime delivery and it was the only one that was on the, um, try before you buy. So I chose it thinking if I like it, then I can always return it and get myself the, um, either the khaki color or I know that there was a khaki. I want to say that was also an army green. Um, but honestly, I actually, I actually like the dove gray more than I thought I would. So just so you guys can see the back, the back has this little, um, also traditional kind of flap thing. And the back here is pleated. So it kind of gives sort of like a dress look. So it makes it dressier in my opinion. Let's see if you guys can see that. So it kind of it billows out a little bit into like this um, skirt on the bottom. It gives it a little bit more of a dressy um, look than just like your traditional straight um, like Burberry type of trench. So I really do, I really actually like this a lot more than I thought. It is probably, like I said, but one of my favorite pieces of this um, haul, uh, probably this, that little uh, turtleneck, and I actually like quite a few things. I keep saying this is my favorite, but yeah, I like like half of the items I really, really like um, that I will, I will be keeping, and the other ones, it's kind of like I have to make the decision. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I actually like the gray. Um, so, you know, everything, a lot of things, a lot of what I have is, tans and like earth colors. So I think the gray is a nice um, change for me. But yeah, so this, this is a definitely a keeper. Also, it's a great price point. It is heavy, um, so it definitely has some weight to it, which I think is nice, not in a bad way, in a, in a really good way. It is silky, smooth, extremely, extremely soft, light, light but heavy. It has, um, it has weight to the piece, but not weight in terms of like, being hot, if that makes any sense to you guys. Um, I guess, you know, if you order it, you'll be able to, to tell what I'm saying. It's definitely like an early fall or a spring coat. Um, and it is, yeah, it's it, it's really, really good. I like it a lot. Um, but it is definitely a good price point. That's what I was saying. Um, it is, I wanna say it's like 70, in the 70s somewhere, 69, 72, something like that. Um, so it, to me, it's definitely worth it, um, worth the money. It also would make a great gift for mom, mother-in-law, somebody that you're willing to spend a little bit, you know, I don't know if that's a little bit more, but you know, it is definitely, um, you know, you're not giving it to like just a nobody. It's a really good price point and a really nice gift. If this is something that you think somebody would like, again, 
all will be linked down below also in my Amazon store so in my um, channel description it is um, it will be in my link tree um, little link to the Amazon storefront and all that stuff but yeah so that's it guys thank you for sticking with me for this whole long um, video and I will see you guys next time I post videos Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays um, so if you like talking about Amazon finds, Amazon shopping, um, high and low shopping, luxury purchases, um, a lot of shopping, quite honestly, a lot of, um, I like to, a lot of it is going to be fashion, a lot of it is clothes, like I said, I have a, um, a jewelry line, so I talk a lot about mixing and matching my jewelry with, um, different pieces, making things look expensive that aren't necessarily expensive, we all love that. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions on what you would like to see, definitely leave it in the comments below. Um, I am willing to try anything. So yeah, just let me know if you have any ideas and we can um, see if we can make that video happen. So have a great night, guys. I will see you soon. See you Friday.